So if you guys are wondering why I'm holding a stick while wearing a pumpkin head while in third person, it's while in creative mode. It's because I did the most stupidest fucking challenge ever. And basically, um, can you beat the Ender Dragon without g good items? <laughs> well, mostly, can you beat the Ender Dragon with a stick? Right, so the rules for this challenge are simple. Obviously, rule number one, get a stick. Rule number two, get any healing item you have, however, something that isn't too overpowered. So anything like a golden apple is completely fine, but something like an enchanted golden apple is basically too much. That also goes the same with things with items. Any type of sword will not be allowed, and any type of armor will also not be allowed, since you could probably beat the Ender Dragon with those anyway. Another it other items like bows and pickaxes are also not allowed, since they are usually, since they are obviously normally used to beat the Ender Dragon. So the only thing I really need to break the beacons with is my stick. My big ass fucking stick. Okay, let's get ready. Let's do this shit. So, my chal- Oh, God. So, uh, my challenge is, can we beat the Ender Dragon with the fucking stupidest items ever, basically? And, uh, we're gonna find out. And this is not going to be an easy challenge because we've just got it. We've just got a stick, and no like bow and arrow and shit. So it's it's a it's a fucking challenge. So all right, this is round one. Um. As long as the Ender Dragon doesn't come here and, and attack me, then I think we'll be fine. Uh, alright. Alright, uh, do I just... Yep, yeah, yeah, that works, alright. Uh, now I just need to get... Oh. You know, I didn't think of this. I think I should have brought a bucket. I don't think buckets are forbidden. Uh, this thing could literally be flying- oh, no, he's there. Alright, uh, let's try and get down. Okay. Oh, okay, and I'm just- <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I thought I could, like, I thought I could live there. Attempt two. Alright. should just like mine up here we are wasting a lot of cobblestone just trying to get up uh that's a oh fuck's sake i might ch i might train i might change the block in a minute because like cobblestone might screw me Oh, okay, yep, and sponges now. So uh, let's see how that how that goes well. Sh 
actually probably, probably the best if we sneak up from here, so then that way we can get the best angle. Unless the Ender Dragon just plows through this like piece of ground and absolutely annihilates me. But we'll find out. Just try and ow! I... I'm a right. So as you can see on that attempt, I absolutely fucking failed and failed miserably because, for one, I couldn't find a quicker way to get down without breaking down the cobblestone piece by piece. However, that wasn't going to work effectively. Because the dragon, because potentially, like you saw, the ender dragon will just knock me off and kill me. So, instead of using, instead of using stone, I instead use sponge. So yeah, as you could see, I couldn't find a way to get the dragon away from me without not getting knocked off while I'm trying to get the beacons. Not to mention the fact that some of the beacons can just kill you when you hit them at point blank without a bow and arrow, so it made things evidently hard. So I did one more round with the beacons before deciding to get rid of them, because they were becoming, because they were making this challenge a little bit too impossible. Granted, I would like to see someone try beating the dragon with the beacons, 
That would be awesome. All right, check out the towers because they might make it a little difficult, but you already know that because of the live stream. Just explain for the recording. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There's an Enderman after me. There's an Enderman after me. Oh, oh, there's two Endermans after me. Oh, shit. Okay. As you could probably tell, I wasn't really doing well still, mainly due to the fact that the Endermen were becoming much more of a hindrance. And normally, and usually, they'd be no problem since in since in a usual playthrough or a usual fight with the Ender Dragon, I just usually kill him with a diamond sword or whatever type of sword that is available. Unfortunately, my only melee weapon is a stick. And trust me when I say this, sticks aren't the most effective thing against, well, anything. Hell, even a sheep could probably survive two blows of a fucking stick. Well, hell, even a fucking chicken could probably to survive two blows of a stick. Or even worse, a fucking t tiny slime. So, obviously, I had to make sure not to look at the Endermen at possible. So, I had to make sure not to look at the Endermen and attract their attention towards me. And I also had to make sure not to hit them. Now, obviously, this wouldn't be easy since. For one, the Ender, since, for one, all of the Ender creatures in the Ender world basically blend with the fucking sky. Which is A, pitch black, which means B, I'm most likely to hit them considering how fucking tall these guys are. Now, on the bright side, um, I, uh, I, I found some air, but, um, Okay, I'll be real. There's no bright side to this. <sighs> the Endermen are fucking annoying. Right, I am ready to go. So I've got this fucking wind charger thing. I don't know what it does. But hopefully we can take care of it. I actually, I just realized I forgot to... Never mind, fuck it. I'll probably lose this round, but... Alright, let's do this shit. I forgot, I said I, I forgot to, um, take out the, uh, the beacons, because, um, I don't think this will... Alright, let's see what this fucking wind charger thing does. Alright. Yeah, that does nothing. Alright, cool. Alright. I am trying to climb and I can't climb because of this fucking piece of shit. Ow. Ow. For fuck's sake, who's a. Oh my god. Oh great. This is perfect. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Alright, here, here's the recap on the plan. So, I got this chest here to basically, you know, keep all my stuff from going, so then that way it doesn't go to waste. Uh, as you can see in the live stream, but this is for the video, so if people watch the video, then... Yeah, uh, I've got this bed here, as you know, right, to wait. save next to the ender portal, and uh, yeah. I got rid of all the beacons to make it a little bit a little bit easier, but this this is still gonna be pretty hard since I'm using a fucking stick and a bunch of different ver tech versions of sticks. So yeah, let's do this shit. Oh, 
And I've, I've already got an Enderman following me because they, I looked I looked at them funny apparently and they're killing, they're killing me, they're killing Round three. <laughs> Not looking at any of the Enderman. I I wasn't looking at you! Alright, let's do this shit. Not looking- I'm looking straight fucking down. There's no- I'm not- The whole point of how Endermans work is you look directly at them, not like the whole vision you have to look at them. Oh, there you go. Okay, who knows? I'm doing good. Alright. Run away, run away, run away. Run away. Alright, we're all right. We're we're doing something. We're doing something now. What the fuck is attacking? Oh my god, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Fucking- Right, so obviously this wasn't gonna cut it. I needed to find a way to get the Enderman off my ass, mostly due to- mostly due to the fact that they wouldn't leave me alone if I looked at them. Because if I look at an Enderman, it's immediately a game over. I have no way of killing it quickly, and I have no way of basically drawing its attention away from me, so the minute I look at them, I am fucked, because I have no armor on, and yeah, this is just the skin, so, um, yeah. So, I resorted to one thing that could help me, the pumpkin. Now, if you guys didn't know, the pumpkin is actually a very effective item against the Enderman, since you could basically, since you could basically look at them, and they won't attack you. <sighs> the downside of this item is, is it gives you tunnel vision. <sighs> oh, this is gonna fuck up my vision. I practically have tunnel vision, but I think I could do this. Alright. Stay. <gasps> okay, they don't attack me. Alright, that's good. Now all I need to worry about is that fucking dragon. Which is going to be a huge problem. Ow. 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 Out. 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 Wait. Wait. Why are they fucking up? Why are they going crap? Oh, they're attacking him! Oh, they're attacking him!
Oh no, I attacked an Enderman. Oh no! No, I attacked a fucking Enderman! Why did I do that?! No! I... Stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stu- Alright, I think I'm, this is how I'm gonna have to try and do shit. Oh god, this is... Because this is how I'm- this is the only way I'm gonna be able to see. Affected him or anyway, or did something? I don't know. We're making good damage. Oh my God! Are you serious? Let's go. Why the fuck are there two sheep? <laughs> Alright, yeah, I forgot. Alright. Um, oh. Hey, oh you know no, I don't want to chat. I want to fucking kill that stupid dragon and his stupid friends. Mm -hmm. Only him, though, because uh, his friends aren't important. Fuck. Alright, here we go. If those guys start attacking me because I looked at them like for like a split second, I'm not gonna be splitting happy. Oh shit, no. Give me about the noise, this is a bit... I might turn the noise down to the dragon and attack the video.
haven't. Alright, there are not as many Endermen around. I don't think there were when we fought. When we did it. I think it hurt. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, wait, I just realized. I don't need to worry about. Wait, I just realized. I don't need to worry about looking at the other I've got a fucking pumpkin on for a reason. Hitting the Enderman. Oh, piss off, you. I can't, I can't, I can't. Blending into the dark. You're not even doing anything. What's the... The problem is there's too many of them around. Ow, ow. Oh my god. It also sucks because I'm in third person, so I need like real vision. It's okay. They're angry because of him. They're angry because of him. They're not angry because of me. They're angry because of him. <coughs> I'm still, I'm still wondering how the fuck that last Enderman, Enderman actually. Wait, you didn't have Shit, we're close. Come on. Boom. Yeah. What do these even do actually? Oh, they boost me up. That's interesting. Oh, that's cool. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Wait, can I... <laughs> oh. That's awesome. Alright, let's get in the Ender Portal. Skip. Holy shit, I did it. Oh my god, that challenge... Well, it didn't take that long, but holy shit. That was really fucking annoying. And that was Minecraft, but I did the stupidest challenge. Now, to be fair, I did take some liberties on making it slightly easier, so that way the challenge was possible. So, as far as I know, I do think this challenge could be beatable with, with the beacon still on. I mean, it's probably much more difficult since you would have to take, take, out, the, take out every single beacon, then fight, fight off against the dragon off against the dragon um it definitely it definitely I, I'm, I'm definitely certain it is possible without the pumpkin um it would just be a lot more difficult without the pumpkin since you have to avoid looking at every single enderman and looking at its gaze but it, i think it is possible just make sure not to look at any enderman and you will be fine <coughs> but that was Minecraft, but I did the stupidest challenge. I know it doesn't say up there, but just roll with it.